Farm. It's not unusual to see a, a rainbow left behind. If you go looking for storms, you're sure to find a rainbow somewhere along the way. Here's a... On a journey through the plains of Kansas, Nebraska, and Colorado, the Vortex 2 weather team had plenty of high tech. This is our system called SASE, and so this is what the Vortex team uses uh -huh. to um, stay in contact with each other, and every Vortex vehicle has a GPS system on it, and uh -huh. so we can see each other on the map and where everyone is deployed at. So it works out well for deploying radars in the right place, um, and everybody knowing where to position and for safety as well. This expedition is just one part of a month-long study of tornado origins by Vortex. But this kind of gives you an idea of the uh, number of vehicles that are all positioned out here. Had a lightning then. Going to get inside the vehicle. It's kind of looking that way. The large caravan of 40 vehicles included both the experts in their field and their students. Well, you know, it's a, it's a great time to actually see some of the stuff we see in the textbooks actually out in the field. Um, it's a great time to actually get to know a lot of the people uh, that do this type of research. Kansas, and with this particular research comes lots and lots of mileage. A string of vehicles behind me as we're plowing down this dirt road. see what we're going to see. Every vehicle on the road ahead of me here is uh, part of the uh, Vortex 2 team. Uh, they have picked another spot and they're moving into position and uh, we're traveling at about oh, 80 miles an hour. Uh, looks like it's on Highway 40 going west and there's something in the distance that looks interesting so we'll, we'll see. What you're seeing right there is a good example of what they call the dry line. The area on one side on the right is clear, the other is uh, caused by the moisture that's coming into contact with it. Here are some of these National uh, Severe Storms Laboratory uh, vehicles lined up, uh, getting ready to head out uh, for a storm search uh, uh, today. Uh, what I find interesting about these vehicles is the amount of hail damage that you see on the hoods of these vehicles, like this one right here. Uh, these guys got really battered, it looks like. These men have the technology. They have the desire. But sometimes with the weather, what you really need is luck. That's a boot on a fence post. <laughs>